Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at our Hello World application and adding some buttons to it. So let's open up that project and we'll begin. We're going to add buttons that are going to change the background of our application. So it'll kind of tie into the last uh, tutorial we did where we created different UI colors. But this time we're going to build on the Hello World application to add buttons to it that will change the UI colors that we created in the last application. So we can get rid of this uh, preview screen because we don't really care for it right now. Um, then let's move up our Hello World label to make room for our uh, buttons. So after we um, move up label We'll change our constraints again so that it'll roughly match um, what it should look like on one of the different phone screens. And so after we do that, let's add some buttons. So we just go scroll down where we got our label for and what before, and right under that is uh, a button. And I'm just going to kind of align them a little bit, but I mean, placement of them is really isn't that important. Tutorial, but we'll change it to the color blue because the this button I'm going I'm going to use to change the background is blue. And I'm going to increase the size a little bit so that we can see it a little bit clearer when we actually run it on the uh, iPhone simulator. So let's uh, stretch it out a little bit. Um, now this, we can add the next. Uh, Just call this one yellow. So basically, what we're gonna have is a button that says blue and a button that says yellow, and we're gonna switch the colors of the background from blue to yellow, depending on which button we hit on the phone. So like uh, before, we'll change the title of this button from uh, button to yellow, so that we know what it is. Um, align with the other button a little bit. Uh, the size and um, now we're gonna uh, change the constraints so that everything kind of lines up on this as it will on the phone we'll hit preview to see what it looks like and as you can see this is what it's gonna look like on the different iPhone models um, after that look, we can do something a little fancy and change the color of the button because uh, the blue button that says yellow isn't as good as a yellow button that is yellow. So we'll go and click uh, this property to change the color. I like to use uh, crayons for my colors just because I don't know they look cool. So I'll just choose the yellow one. I don't think they call it lemon. But so now we've changed the color. I may get this uh, one a darker color just to stand out a little bit more. But you can see you can just kind of play around with the colors to change it to whatever you'd like. And so now we have kind of a darker blue and uh, lemon color. The lemon in, on the yellow background is kind of hard to see right now, but I kind of wanted it that way so that when you press the one button, you can't see the other one as well. But I guess it's kind of up to you how you'd like to do it. This is just kind of a guideline. So I have some uh, warnings, uh, nothing major, but they have to do with the placement of how everything's on the layout to how it's going to look on the phone. And basically it's just telling me that on the phone it's going to look different than what this layout is, but we can fix that easily with uh, updating our constraints. I haven't talked much about constraints uh, so far, but right now uh, usually if you just use update constraints or reset to suggested constraints, you, you'll get approximately what you're, you're looking for, but I'll save that for another tutorial. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. So now we have the problem of actually telling uh, the program what the button should do. So we do this with the view controller. We can open the view controller from where we had our preview of our phones, I guess. And so now we have the view controller for this view, the view being our hello world. And if we go to connections, we can actually add different connections 
for this uh, view controller, we have a button selected right now. So we're going to add a connection for that button. And we want to add a connection so that when the user touches it or touch up inside, that it does something. So all we have to do is drag and click that over into our view controller. And now as an action, we can give this uh, a name. I'm just going to call it delete button. And so now that we know when the first when someone hits the blue button, we have an event, and what's in the side of the brackets is actually what's going to happen. So we'll do the same thing for our yellow button. Call it yellow button. And you can be more creative than me. But so now we have two different uh, actions that will happen once the user touches one of the buttons. Now we just have to add code for what those actions should be. And we're going to go back to our old tutorial, or my second tutorial, where we talked about creating a custom UI color, and we're just going to do that right now. So to kind of recap what I did in that tutorial, we created a constant that's using the keyword let, and we just gave it a name, and then we're going to use the class UI color to create a color, and we're just going to do the the initializer that lets us specify what the red, green, blue values are going to be for that color. So if you want uh, more information on this step, I would look at uh, my second tutorial where we kind of go in more depth about this part right here, which is putting the RGB values in that I kind of know from my second tutorial. And we're just creating our blue and yellow colors. And now let's the only thing that's really left to do is to tell the background that it should change to those uh, different colors. So this is uh, pretty simple. All we have to do is change the view. So it's actually just called view. And we say dot background color, which is going to give all the different kind of methods you can do to view. What we are concerned with is background color, and we just say it is equal to one of our constant colors. When the user presses this button, this method, this will be called, and the view background color will be changed. So we just have to do this in both of our button actions, and now we have an application that once a user presses a button, the background color of the application will change. And so we can just give this a try, so I'll start up the simulator and we can see what it looks like. So we'll just go over to this uh, play button, which is basically this is just run. So we run our application and we wait for uh, Xcode to start up the iPhone simulator. And we should see our application in a second. load the program correctly, which is the case this time. We can just manually open it by clicking uh, Hello World, and that should uh, link the program back up to Xcode, which isn't really a, a big deal, but sometimes it happens. So I'll just get it started again, and we should see our Hello World program like before, but this time we have two buttons. If we click the blue one, our background color should turn blue. We can do the same thing with the yellow one, and it should turn yellow. And we see that we have just built a functioning application that now accepts user input through buttons. Uh, thanks for watching, and join me for the next tutorial.